that isn't to say recoveries haven't happened. A good measure of people have recovered with usual antibiotics and plasma related treatments from potential vaccines to antibody treatments plenty of reassuring work is underway already now uh, the uk headquartered british american tobacco group says it could manufacture up to three million doses of its prototype vaccine once its uh, us-based biotech business kentucky uh, bioprocessing gets through the clinical testing the british american tobacco says that it can clone a portion of the virus's genetic sequence and develop a potential COVID-19 antigen, a protein that enables and enables the body's immune system to prevent the infection. Now, Philips Morris's uh, Medicago has also used a virus-like particle grown in a close relative of the tobacco plant uh, based vaccines mimic the virus and allow the body's immune system to recognize them and create an immune response without being able to infect or replicate. Meanwhile, the U.S. researchers at the University of Pittsburgh follow. Uh, Pittsburgh School of Medicine have announced a potential vaccine as well. It's called the Pitcovac and has been tested successfully on mice. And scientists at the Kaiser Permanent Washington Research Institute uh, in Seattle have begun a first stage study of a potential COVID-19 vaccine developed on March 18th. Researchers in Belgium too have announced a potential breakthrough using llama antibodies by isolating the llama and bind the spike proteins that coronavirus uses to enter cells. A team of Chinese scientists also managed to isolate several antibodies that they say are extremely effective at blocking the ability of the new coronavirus to enter cells. Among the first 20 or so antibodies tested, four were able to block the viral entry and two of those were exceedingly good at doing so. Meanwhile, in Canada, a team headed by the University of British Columbia researchers say they found a drug which in trials on cell cultures and human organ replicas grown from stem cells was able to reduce the virus load by a factor of 1,000 to 5,000. The drug AP number one uh, essentially catches the virus and washes it away. European biotech company Aperon Bio Biologics is also about to start the clinical trials of the drug Australia, Denmark, Germany developing new vaccines however takes time and they must be rigorously tested and confirmed safe by clinical trials before they can be routinely used in human beings and uh, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases in the U.S. has frequently stated that a vaccine is at least 18 months away.